Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scan Models and today I have another kit. This one's from Gecko Models, it's their 135 scale, brand new tooled, brand new kit. Well known Kate, limited edition, special boxing, so it does come with a figure and obviously the ambulance. The ambulance is a Austin K2 ambulance, so let's take a close look at this one. So what we get inside this one, this is a standard box from um, Gecko Models. I am a bit biased with Gecko Models. I do like their subjects because they do a lot of British vehicles. So I do like their stuff. Um, there is another boxing of this out by Airfix. But sadly, I'm sorry Airfix, but this one's much more better kit than yours. It's more precision parts. It's more detail. Um, so sorry Airfix. So as I say, this is 135 scale. There's the uh, stuff you're getting within the kit, you get photo etch, decals and the figure. The figure, if you're not sure who that is, it's the Queen. Hence they haven't done it on the box because it's to do a copyright, but it is the Queen. There is a couple of famous pictures here of the Queen changing the tyre. As for the kit number is 35GM0070 and on this side we have the marking options, we have the desert scheme, we have the um, ambulance in I believe is 002 or CC02 which is a British brown green colour um, and there's some CAD work I believe CC02 I do have which is which is this from AK which is that brownie earth colour greeny earth colour what you're gonna call it but we will check so this is a standard gecko box you get a box within a box bear with me Okay, after wrestling with the box, it's such a tight fit, which is a good thing. You get another box inside, which is just a normal white one, which is standard. So, you get instructions, decals inside, and the kit is nicely bagged individually in so sections. So, we've got the uh, internal parts like stretchers, and here we have all small detail parts, wheels, jerry cans. This has the figure of the green extra detail parts clear sides structural parts internals the wheels are done specially for this vehicle and a strange way of doing it so the inserts are different and then we have structural flooring and roof side walls of the ambulance and then another detail part which is the internal parts again you can see there's a lot of small parts as well, highly detailed engineered kit. So here's your instructions, let's get you in a little bit closer. So it's Gecko's way of doing things, it's a quite a small manual but very thick, high, highly compact. As I say, their kits are very well engineered and have a lot of parts. I wouldn't recommend this for a beginner at all. If you want an easier build then I will go for the Airfix one but as I say I've gone for this one. I think it's a much better kit overall, or well, hope it is anyway. So as I say, this is their layout. Warnings in several languages. English is at the top, um, and then you work your way through. There is the markings in photo which We'll get to that in a minute. Tools required. It's pretty standard. Nippers, uh, nip, um, knives and glues and stuff. It's just basic stuff. Sprue layout, which is standard. You get a lot of plastic in this kit for your money it is a little bit more expensive than Airfix but like, like I say well, hopefully I'm thinking this is going to be the better version straight on the very first step is the lower chassis it's the uh, side rails and the uh, gussets and stuff to make up the uh, lower chassis leaf springs 
as you work your way along you've got some more detail parts more structural eye beams and stuff just for the chassis more structural parts here comes onto the wheel assembly this is what i mean by the tire and you've got the outer uh, tire section and then the wheel as well so it's nicely done this is how they can get that detail i so imagine it is slightly branded but we'll check that out in a minute axles and stuff going in which is standard again they could have molded it in one piece but to get this super detail they mold it in multiple parts but it does build up the cost a little bit more so it is a catch situation of how far you want to go with it if you want a really detailed kit you're going to pay for it wheels going in and then this looks like the gearbox assembly if i'm mistaken nicely detailed engine Uh, more parts for the engine and the uh, gearbox coming together once that's done you can drop that into the chassis and then your drive shaft can go in here and here exhaust assembly can go in you probably want to paint some of this separately especially like the engine exhaust is going to be slightly a little bit rusty and maybe uh, the chassis is probably going to be slightly different to the uh, ambulance itself and then we have the steering section, these sections here, these tabs are asking for no glue. <clears throat> so technically you can make the steering work. Here is more steering arms or linkages. More to do with the steering. Um, and you do have hosing to attach and it's asking for how long to cut it, it's seven millimeters. There is the hosing within the kit, which is this little black piece here. So that's what I'm saying. Brake lines, hoses, it's just the kit's superb detail. I've seen the Airfix one um, and I'm not going to get it because, um, like I say, this, I think this is the better version. Uh, adding the front wheels, again, this is the option for the steering. If you don't want it, you just glue it into place. Now, this is here, you have to do two of these. These are your fuel tanks and the brackets. Here is the colour called out for the Queen. Uh, hence why it's not on the box because it's to do with licensing. But we do know who it is. Uh, now this is the step at the back of the ambulance. Again it's made of plastic and we've got fellow etched cross struts. Front grille is standard. And then you've got fellow etched grilles. Um, radiator system again. Could have moulded as one part but they've gone for maximum detail. Which is nice. And then once that's gone in, you can attach that to your vehicle. And then front fenders can go in and uh, slightly front bumper. Boxes. I think this is a uh, storage box. You've got your seat, driver's seat. I think this is going on top. You do get colour callouts, kind of, as you work your way along with a khaki interior. Now, the main cab section, the floor, the seat you built up previously. This is some handles on the un underside actually these won't be handles these will be your footsteps or foot wells to get into the ambulance uh, this looks like the uh, dash we've got photo etch as you work your way around your steering wheel again with the pedals the separate and then the, the actual grips on front of that they could have molded that but again gone for maximum detail this firewall assembly inside the cab there is a couple of decals which would be nice no doubt there'll be Quinta or Red Fox or whatever those companies that do the 3D decals. I know they are starting to do interior stuff for vehicles, but the decals have been more than fine. There's only there's only two decals, so it's going to be perfectly adequate. Your firewall and the floor goes together. You've got some lights, which is the option open or this night version that can be attached to your vehicle. You've got your support brace over the top of the engine, which is this bit here. This are the side covers for the engine. Sadly, it doesn't show in the instructions. Uh, it's all closed up, but a little bit of modification, you could probably have it open. Because um, it'd be a shame to uh, close that engine up with all that nice, nicely detailed with the rest of the kit. I think having the more stuff open and visible with this kit because of the detail, I think it's going to be a better over overlooking model. Lights on the front, uh, both sides. We have this kind of bumper assembly. It's a couple of jerry cans and looks like 
um, oil boxes. No, sorry, this is water. This is fuel. The lower sachet now <clears throat> of the ambulance. Some boxes and stuff. Photo etch storage racks for the water cans and fuel. Attached to these, the bottom of the ambulance. More boxes. The lower floor of the ambulance going in the back of the uh, back of the ambulance now. More fenders, mud guards as you work your way along. More mud guards, getting the angle just right, and showing more angles of the ambulance of the uh, mud guard. Sorry, part of the uh, bumper or the back of the ambulance. Now we have some of the doors, some of the actual. Uh, box of the ambulance so this will be towards the uh, driver and the, and the uh, uh, ambulance so this will be going in from the, f the front cab section again open or closed door we have open or closed blinds which is here and here again loads of different options this is once it's built whatever option you're doing open door open blinds whatever you can attach that back part in the seat again inside the ambulance section a, a folded or closed option yeah. spare wheel going in which goes next to the driver and then we have these rails is what the uh, stretchers will slide across or slide on both sides these are kind of mattresses or benches when there's no stretches in there so it can carry troops as well as well as people or whatever uh, obviously some soldiers are not badly injured but they're injured but they're not requiring a stretcher so they can sit down if you're doing the stretchers they obviously go on these rails you've got two stretchers at the bottom and there's another set of stretchers on top so they're double stacked so there's four stretchers in total again they're asking not to glue in The cushions and this is it looks like a pillow and is like a um, blanket I think and then this is the roof got some handles and a couple of lights this is another part of the floor so you know this is the roof a couple of more storage boxes inside actually they might not be storage these could be air vents because there is a two-piece roof now this is the upper section of the rack which will house the uh, upper section of the uh, um, of a bench like it was before or you've got this stretcher going on there as well um, and the way it's designed is here is it has these lock-in mechanism at the side of the ambulance and these can be adjusted at different heights and you can uh, you can do that within the kit here is a piece that goes straight across which is basically a backrest if you're sitting down or it's stop when someone's laying down in the stretcher obviously it stops their banging their head against the uh, side because it would be level with the stretcher this is the upper stretcher assembly you've got to build two of these again different options different layouts so this is the option layout for the stretcher options and you've got your colour call as you work around the car key for the stretcher tan for the pillow and then again then like a uh, greyish colour for the um, blanket and then you repeat the process on the other side and then you're attaching the suit two side walls and the roof and then this section here don't forget your couple of rifles that sit in the front and again this is the other side option two for how you want the stretchers option one option two so this is folded down completely this is open just be careful how you want to do it just read the instructions take your time more options on the side now we have a couple of springs here so this is to do with the side of the vehicle the doors on the side of the vehicle are not actually metal or anything they're like just a uh, canvas pull so you can have it closed folded which will be the open option 
windshield now again full windshield open or closed options which is a nice touch if you can have it open you've got all your fellow etch hatches to attach the roof a couple of tools inside the roof and then this is attaching the window open or closed option once it's in the, the sides of the uh, above the uh, canvas door again is optional um, if you have an open you take these off completely so they're not even there if you're having no doors at all you can take them completely off like it is here or folded um, and then the roof goes attached so loads of different options which is nice mirrors going in just making sure they're square these are the back doors a couple of vents again there's different styles and you can have these open or closed attaching the doors again open or closed option and we have this support rail at the top and then these are stretches but folded stretches and then they I imagine they just go wherever doesn't actually say first paint scheme which should be the ambulance I believe we should probably to do with the queen in the, in, uh, the photo I showed you um, it is CCO2 like I mentioned oh, I was correct so it was this colour Um, but in the photo it's a green ambulance so I'm not sure one of them someone's either made a mistake or just check your references to make sure you just get it right and then we do have the uh, desert version which is known as in the movie Ice Cold Alex um, I don't know So there are your two schemes. So here's the other call out for the queen and then the uh, storage and stuff and just decos information. So that's that. It will be a little bit of a lengthy video because it's they uh, say it's a more detailed kit than their fixes. It'll say if you want a more simpler build then get their one but if you want a complex build then get this one now we have the markings so here's the full markings nicely done we have the red cross symbols and then obviously the uh to do with the uh what unit it's in and stuff at the sides uh nicely done gecko markings are, are very well printed and nice and bright in color and crisp and sharp um, I don't know if they print theirs in the house or they get someone else to do it, but they look pretty good to me. And then the fellow edge fret. So we have basically supports. This section, these long sections, have to be folded because that's for the rails, if I remember correctly. These square boxes are for the uh, water cans and fuel cans. These are the, the um, jerry can. Um, piece that go in between the um I'm not sure what you call it grills through the uh, front grill and this is the front grill more support and these parts are here and here if I remember quickly for the windshield so that's it the photo which is wrapped in plastic a little tip is you take the film off one side and when it comes to cut small parts off the um like here if you leave one side of the film on because it's sticky when you come to cut it they won't ping off so no further ado we go straight into the kit it, as I say there were several bags it's nicely it's done in these small bags this part's getting damaged so the very first bag we have stowage it is a brand new kit I know that it can be a little bit flashy in places but that's gecko it's just the way they do theirs um, but Flash is not a big thing for me, it just requires a little bit of clean up. So here's storage, we have the helmets, bags and pouches and stuff. More storage and pouches and bags. And then we have the figure of the Queen. Nicely done. Some bags are sealed, 
、あの、スタンダードの、So we have two of these, which will be the wheels, a wheel assembly, detail boxes for the internals, just like fuel tank there. So this section here is to do with the tyres. It is branded. Does that say Dunlop? Dunlop. Track grip 10.50 by 16s. So, this is the spare wheel, and these are the uh, ones for the uh, actual other tyre because you have an insert to go into. Detail parts you work your way along. These are the fuel tanks. We have two of these, which will be. Jerry cans, so it makes four. No, sorry, two cans, just two jerry cans. Pipe in um, and a couple of detail parts. So, in this bag, we have the stretchers. So, there is, I believe, there's four of these. So, yeah, four of these. So here is your stretcher. So this is the main stretcher and the folded one. So you're going to get four of them as well. And then the obviously cushions or pillows and uh, blankets. And these are the uh, parts of the handle. So nicely done. And ejector pins on these, but they're facing downwards, so I won't worry about it. But there's no ejector pins on the stretchers at all. So on here we have internal parts. So we have the dash steering wheel, wheel fenders, covers for the engine. These are mud guards, main grille, detail parts, um, size of the uh, engine uh, covers, drive shaft at the top. So again, nice crisp detail. Just be careful taking all of this off the sprue. You don't want to be damaging any parts. But this doesn't look too bad. The only flashy parts that I did see were on those um, small parts which is not a problem but this one is nice and crisp and clean so we have the chassis rails leaf springs exhaust engine block radiator system axles more engines so this is all basically going to go all on the same kind of sprue section at the same time a little bit of slide mold in there so here is the uh, chassis rail Again on the other side I can't really see any ejector pins so it's all nice and clean. Leaf springs look good. More support rails, a couple of detail parts. Here's the uh, radiator fan and the belt. The uh, axle assembly or rails. Engine block. Radiator system. And the top of the radiator system or the rad if whatever you want to call it. Exhaust does look nicely done. Even that's why it's slide molded on the end because the end is drilled out as well. So yeah, superb. Now we have this sprue here, which will be the roof. So it's a two-piece roof. This is the main roof over the cab, and this is the floor inside the ambulance. So the stretchers and stuff will be going down here, and the walkway. Um, it does have this kind of texture over it. Inside.
the main roof over the cab inside the uh, ambulance the back the back box of the ambulance nicely done again highly crispy sharp molding there's no ejector pins on both sides even the roof parts these are facing on this side goes inside this so there will be ejector pins on this but the other two parts are, are super clean and then we have the side of the ambulance of the box and the doors and the, these are those canvas doors and these are the folded option and this the back part of the ambulance again you have got ejector pins straight through the centre but remember there is a cushion that goes straight across all the way across that which is this one here I believe no nope. on a different sprue so they're going to be hidden nicely done can't see ejector pins on any of the other parts it does look kind of weird but that's just there's nothing there it's just I think that's mold release these doors look good so do these even those folded ones look nicely done it, that texture again is probably to try and make mimic fabric back doors nicely done and we have a bag of wheels so like I say the wheels are done specially just to get that crisp detail I don't think there's any other way they could go about doing it couple of boxes this is standard storage this is the rack for your two rifles to go into which I haven't come across yet there's two of these sprues so these are part of the rail system inside and cushions so these are the cushions side rails these are the cushions here is the rifle I'm not sure what rifle that is is it the Lee Enfield rifle if I'm not mistaken and more detail parts and brackets so nicely done that's them two and then we have more internal parts the bulkheads the floor of the ambulance which I, I imagine was made of wood nicely done yeah part of the uh, firewall this is the back part where the door goes that is not flash that is meant to be there the tools piping small detail parts these are those locking mechanisms for the stretcher to sit onto so to hold it up and a couple of more boxes and last piece is in here it's just the clear parts these are going to be perfectly clear because they're just flat glass and those top uh, parts that go above the door with the fabric is got that wrinkly effect to make it look like it's like a plasticky effect so that is really really nicely done and the rest of them are just going to be standard glass i do like that effect though painted around the edge and that's that's the really that's really good So there you are my friends, another kit from Gecko. It's the uh, ambulance. Austin K2 ambulance, the special edition with the Queen figure. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.